हाँ बस यही थी चीज थैंक यू Hey you guys, welcome back to another review. I have been doing very, very nice, and I'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. Today's video is a vlog of me rereading Aristotle and Dante. He discovers the secrets of the rediscovered, nay, discovers the secrets of the universe, and reading Aristotle and Dante dive into the waters of the world. And I'm reading this. for the first time this is also the other half of a junagar vlog the first half is already up i have tried reading lolita in that vlog if you haven't checked it out you should i tried to do something really fun when i was vlogging what i did is that there are certain parts that you will see in that vlog which you won't see in this vlog and whatever you are not seeing in this vlog you will see in that vlog basically if you put both of them together the sequence will make much more sense so i really hope you guys enjoy the vlog and let's begin good boy It's day. I don't know what you call it. Day two in Junagar. I made a very very horrible attempt at making coffee, and I have used my own coffee, not instant coffee. But it was a horrible attempt. I'm still having it though because I don't want to waste it. I don't know what to do with my hair. For the first time ever, I really don't know. what my day is going to look like at all like at all because this trip was like really spontaneous and because i've already been to junagar once i kind of like there are no new places where i have to go where i have to go to and all i get to do is like be in be in the room and chill and read and that's what i came to do but i do also want to go out and i feel like if i've come this far and i don't go out and experience something that's is like all this pressure on my head but then at the same time i have no idea what to do usually i know exactly what my day is going to look like today i'm like so lost about it right now i'm going to have coffee and i'm going to start reading total and dante you know i actually made a morning vlog quite some time back and that day i did not remember what i said in the video till i started editing it this is aristotle and dante discover the secrets of the universe by benjamin alire sands if you don't know anything about it i reviewed this book and i've talked about this book at least a million times aristotle and dante discover the secrets of the universe it is the story of aristotle and dante who discover the secrets <laughs> No, it's not like that. It has been a really long time, and I will review the book again as I read. But this was one of my most favorite love stories when I started, when I finished reading it, and I read it in like two, three hours in one sitting. I bought the book because the cover is really pretty, no other reason, and I read it because that day I was not able to sleep and I wanted to read it. But then it turned out to be this biggest gem of my life, and that was like insane. Okay, I I cannot. Tell you how much I love this book, and I know for a fact that a lot of you have read this book after the recommendation, and you guys also love this book. Now the second part of the book is out, right? And I want to read that actually, but because uh, I've not read this book since a long time, I want to read the first book and then the second book, so it's you know flowing continuously and very very nicely. So pretty. Okay, someone's here. Hold. Ah, this is. Oh, I've not opened this book also since so long. Why do we smile? Why do we laugh? Why do we feel alone? Why are we sad and confused? Why do we read poetry? Why do we cry when we see a painting? Why is there a riot in the heart when we love? Why do we feel shame? What is that thing in the pit of your stomach called desire? Book so good. Why does it play with my heart? Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my god, to read this book again. Oh my god. Yeah, I was actually like just feeling so lost, and now I'm like so excited. I did not realize that Dante gets introduced right after Ari is Ari is Aristotle complaining about being a guy and how much he hates guys. <laughs> oh my god, Dante just got introduced. 
Okay, I'm done with around 60 pages of the book. New part was gonna start, but I'm like beyond hungry. So I got myself some brunch here. I usually do brunch only. Like I woke up early today and I'm still doing brunch. But anyways, and I'm like so hungry right now. I think I like die or something of hunger. So I thought of talking a little bit about this plastic straw. <laughs> the book from, can you see me? From whatever I have read. Two things. One is rereading no three things one is that rereading it is making me so like appreciate the book in such a different way because i already know what is going to go on so when you read the book for the first time and everything is new then you're looking at the book differently when you already know what is going on you actually dive deeper into the details that you probably missed the last time and that is happening and i'm enjoying that so much too aristotle the guy is 15 and you are actually able to see the annoyance that he has for like various things you know yeah, this is, oh, I should restart the video. No, let it be fine. As a teenager, and I feel like that is one of the reasons why I love the book so much because honestly, like, I don't know why I feel so connected to my teenage self or like teenage characters or teenage stuff, basically. But when I read Aristotle's character, I feel like, yes, that's exactly how I was feeling. Not exactly how I was feeling, but like that's how it was, that's what was going on in my head. And I think that that is exactly what goes on with other people's head. And that is so interesting and relatable and real and authentic and it's so cool. And the third thing is about Aristotle and Dante, like when Dante gets introduced and in the first part, it's Aristotle narrating everything that he is seeing. And you can see all these things that he is noticing about Dante and you see the kind of conversations that they're having and the how they're like very 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 extremely different but then they look i mean there is they just give each other so much joy and it is so beautiful the kind of conversations about things that you don't really talk about with anyone else or if you talk about it with someone else they think you'll be or, or you're stupid but then when aristotle is listening to something that dante has to say and if even if he thinks it's weird he finds it like lovely and all of that is like so cute it is so cute it is like my heart is completely gushed uh, i have watermelon juice and i have corn salad and i have tangy chole salad over here which in total is going to be like i'm going to mix both of these and it's going to be like this really interesting thing so i'm going to have lunch right not lunch brunch right now and then i'm going to get ready for the day i'm going to shower after this is what i mean i've not showered yet <laughs> Here is my OOTG plain t-shirt, jeans, my rings, my hair, those shoes, and this tote bag. Look for, look something, for something positive, positive in, in each day. Even if, even someday, if someday you have to have look a little harder. It's 6.30 and I just woke up. Okay, I'm done with uploading the video. I've not gone out yet. Now I will go out. Aristotle and Dante is the best freaking book in the whole world. It's so cute. It's so cute. Ari will be like, yes, Dante, I get it, but you're weird. And Dante will be like, yes, Ari, the weight of the whole world is not on your shoulders. And Dante and Ari, yes, Ari, and yes, Dante, and yes, Ari, and it's so beautiful. <sighs> Ari and Dante write letters to each other. There's so much going on. It's so interesting, but at the same time, it's like so in depth. I really, really like that. <laughs> I 
I finished the book again. I'm in this whole other world right now and I feel so good. And I am so excited to read the second part. And you want to like have a good time and you want to like want to get into a good space and relax. Then this is such an amazing book. Let's see how the second book is. I'm so excited about it. It's really, 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 really late and I should really go to sleep. So I'm gonna sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is around 2.14 in the afternoon and right now I'm here by the pool with my book. I woke up really really late and the room of this thing is going on. I literally just kept sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and we woke up really really late. Now the room of this is going on. Till then I'm gonna be over here and read this book and then when I go back to the room I'm gonna have coffee and take a shower and do everything. But this is really good. I really like it. I'm very, very relaxed after swimming that I have done today after 10 years. So I'm gonna start with the second part of Aristotle and Dante. I'm and actually also reading, reading Aristotle and Dante. I am really, really not able to read that book. So I just told that book to get lost. And now I'm gonna read the second part. Yay! I think that's what happens when you're like really, really relaxed. Okay, bye! <laughs> I cannot believe I'm reading new, new things about Aristotle and Dante. Oh my god! <gasps> the first chapter has this line. And here he was, Dante, with his head resting on my chest. <gasps> I'm gonna know what happens next. The list I'm making is a to-do list. I'm going to Wellington Dam to check my mail. Finish as Total and Dante, which by the way, I'm halfway through it. I will tell you what I think about it in some time. Oh yeah, I have to finish this vlog. Talking about Aristotle and Dante, it is much longer than the first part of the book, though the writing style of the book is very, very similar. And it kind of starts literally on the next day of where the first book has ended. So that is interesting. Time paused over there for like, I don't know how many years till we got the second book and it has restarted. What I was expecting when I was reading the book was because Aristotle had confessed his love in the first book. I thought that there will be like a lot of all these romantic scenes and like, you know, more magic and more of Ari and Dante. And that is there. But then Aristotle was this guy who had so many issues in the first book. Issues that a lot of teenagers face because we're changing and everything. And realizing that he has fallen in love with Dante is kind of caring. And instead of the romance or the magic that I expected to have in this second book, there is a lot of fear. There is a lot of fear induced thoughts. The story is set up in like really old times and Ari himself is not used to the fact that two guys can fall in love. He himself is used to the fact that a guy and a girl are, is the only way to fall in love and now he's going through the same thing and he doesn't really know what to do. He's dealing with the changes in his body. He was anyhow opening up to his parents in the first book so that is continuing. Basically the continuation or continuation whatever you call it from the first book. The story got over. So yeah, this is kind of like the continuation but in a much deeper way. It is very very different from the first book and somehow very similar to the first book. The one thing that I do wish and I thought will be there in the second book, I mean I don't know, it was probably like an unrealistic expectation or something, was to read a little bit from Dante's perspective. Like both the books are from Ari's perspective and I get it and I love it and blah blah blah. But even like Dante is in love with Ari, I wanted to see how Dante is seeing Ari because in this book also you can see how Ari Ari is seeing Dante like when he's in love and like yeah it's beautiful and stuff but I don't know how Dante sees Ari I, I think I'm gonna start reading right now before I go to the dam <laughs> Back from outside, had a meeting. I am so exhausted. But you know what is a good part about being in a hotel? It is that I can now go and take a hot shower, get into the fluffiest blanket with white clean sheets and read Aristotle and Dante. I love hot showers. <laughs> Alrighty guys, this is like days 
later, like days later i finished reading this book i tried to finish it in the hotel but then i came back and the whole shifting process was going on and i did not get time at all to read but then after i was kind of settled down in the house i decided to finish this and i did and oh my god let me tell you the overall feel of the book is very very similar to the first book which i have already mentioned in the vlog but there are a few differences which seemed intense to me in the beginning but as you read on you realize that they've made this entire story so much more real and so much more like in depth this time certain parts of the book are so beautiful it's so much more emotionally richer aristotle the guy who had all those issues i talked about is discovering this whole world in the first book he was like in his own world and stuff like that and he was like oh my god what is happening happening and then he met dante they've made dante more than a dream in this book he is more than like a magic he's human in this book which again i love a lot there is a part where as total is writing like i hope this is not a spoiler i don't want to give you guys spoilers i'm not going to talk a lot about what is inside the book but there is a part where as total writes in his journal and he's not able to express himself as much as he wants to so he writes letters to dante in his journal itself which means that it feels like he's writing to dante because he feels safe around dante that this this whole thing is so good so good feeling safe around your loved one so good so good when you read the second book you realize that the first book was just the beginning and there is so much more to all of the characters and their relationships and how they evolve and they were like teenager boys and now they're growing up and you see all of that you know you see all of that you relate to so much of it they're scared they're anxious at the same time they're like standing up for themselves and stuff like that it is very very interesting therefore i say that you have 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 to read the second part you're going to have such an amazing time everything is like a lava erupting you know for everyone that an emotional lava erupting for all of those characters and they're getting connected to each other in a whole other way i love this book took me to another world again very very flowy again very very easy to read again very beginner friendly again and i suggest that you do not read the book if you've not read the first part i think personally that you actually can you know you probably won't really miss out on a lot but it makes so much more sense when you've read the first book and that is it you guys i also try the little crossover of both the vlogs you know i'm also reading lolita i'm also reading aristotle and dante i try to have a little bit of fun with this vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did let me know in the comments i will see you guys very very soon bye